Real good look, man. Did you, uh, either of you happen to watch the Kevin Hart stand up? Uh, <laughs> I did. I yeah. did. Okay. I did. I, I watched didn't, it. I didn't get to watch all of it, man. I, I tried. Oh, I, I, I watched it, it and I would love to, I would love to talk a I, little bit about it. I Let's gave it an earnest it. effort. So, how far did you get into it, Graham? Um, let's, I mean, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you take the floor, go, go, ma, you feel me? I'm gonna let you take the floor, dog, and as you do that, I'm gonna check and see where it is, where it is on on the, on the progress of. (laughs) Well, I I watched it, uh, twice. Oh, twice? first time, yeah, the first time I put it on, I fell asleep. Mm. Uh, To be honest, I fell asleep. So then I watched it again, and then, um, I realized it was over. And then, like, when it was over and the credits were going and everything, I was just like, damn. That's crazy. I didn't laugh not one time. (laughs) Not one time. I was just sitting there staring at it like, I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. I mean, like, I'll be the first, I I, I haven't said it before, like, Kevin Hart's not funny. He's not funny. (laughs) He tells funny stories. And he's a funny person. But he's not funny. I gotta jump Does in. Does that make sense? I gotta jump in on that one. So. <laughs> I gotta jump in on that one now. Go ahead, please, please. Okay. I feel like Kevin Hart done lost his heart. That's what I feel like. Damn. I feel like, like he lost his heart. So he's just Kevin? He's just Kevin. He's just Kevin now. <laughs> this nigga's like, what is this? Just first name basis only? Nigga like Cher? Sometimes Hollywood will get you, man. And I feel like Hollywood and movies done got him. You know he's he can't he can't be the funny that he used to be. I I thought Kevin Hart used to used to have it, man. I really enjoyed the old Kevin and Hart. What, Paper Soldiers. Uh, I enjoyed the old Soul Plane. <laughs> I enjoyed Death of a Dynasty. Movie. Yeah, Soul Plane. <laughs> I got about before he was the before he was the the main actor. Before he was the main. Before actor, he was the main actor. He had he had a little bit more rawness to him, but. I don't yeah, know. But even on this, something that's called zero fucks given, he there wasn't enough. Gave, he definitely gave. Something. He gave some fucks. <laughs> he gave a whole lot of them. A whole lot. I, like... laughed a little bit. I laughed a little bit, but unfortunately, you know, I, I kind of ended the same way where it's like, okay, I laughed some. It was funny, kind of, but it wasn't like that funny that that makes you laugh. It's that funny where mm, I can laugh. Also. I think I was drinking something too while I was like, oh. I mean, that that should help. Yeah, that should help. Yeah, right? yeah, that should help. I was sober and I was just staring at it. Yeah, nah, nah, you had to drink something. Yeah, um, I just I, I just felt like it was a bad effort. Um, it it wasn't like I said, it wasn't that funny. He really, I mean, he talked about his family, which is cool. Yeah, but I felt like talks about he it. always talks about his family. But he yeah, said like, they all that I got. I mean, that's that's about as far as I got. Like right around the time where he was talking about his kids, like his son and his daughter and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, but it's like, dog, it's hella oh. shit going on right now. Yeah, yeah but here's the deal, man. Art, art. He started it off talking about COVID and shit. Like he just went like into talking about family and being famous and shit, and that was it. Mm-hmm. Art is what people have in their life, you know, and he's gotten to a point where he is so up there and famous where he and he ain't Dave Chappelle. So he uh, I don't he can't he can't pull that type of material. You honestly, know? Dave has been widening the gap yeah. uh, for the last Absolutely. few years. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Between him and like other comedians, bro. Yeah. Like for every for everybody that's behind him, like I I don't want to like make a definite, you know what I'm saying, statement right now to say, boom, Dave is the greatest of all time. You feel me? He's up there for sure. You know what no. I'm saying? He's he's personally my favorite. I think that you know he's one of the greatest comedians living, period, right now. I, I want to piggyback off your statement, Graham. I think I know what you're saying. Um, when you said he's widening the gap, and I don't think it's of all the comedians and everything. I just think he's doing it the best. I uh, mm-hmm. In the past, like, seven, eight years, I think Kevin Hart has made it look like he's done it the biggest with his production-wise yep. and his stand-ups and everything. And so he's been putting on the illusion that his stand-ups have been so great and grandiose because he's been touring all over and done, you know, all the promo for it and everything. Mm-hmm. But, like, in comparison, like, the material to, like, Dave Chappelle's stand You want to talk about the impact of it, what his stand-ups are doing. It's no comparison. Dave is no shitting comparison. on. Yeah. He's no. shitting on Kevin. 
But in then, that, in that aspect, then Kevin Hart is something different at this point. You know what I mean? Like Kevin Hart, he's a movie star. You don't need to do stand up, and he probably shouldn't do it anymore. Yeah, like, he's a movie star. He's a movie star. Now. He probably. I should. feel like you're right. I yeah. feel like he was never he was <laughs> never a stand up comedian. His writing know. team, yeah, I, oh. the, the the Plastic Cup Boys, or uh, that what they're called, Red Cup Boys, Plastic, plastic Cup, Cup Boys, Plastic Cup Boys. Yeah. I feel like they are stand up comedians. I wasn't aware he had. Kevin is more of a. Oh yeah, it's his whole crew that he always be with. Yeah, they, like they they do shit together. Yeah, oh. they write all the jokes together. Oh. But I feel like they do all the work, and he's the actor. He performs it. But I feel like him as a person, he's not funny. I don't want to say that they do all of the work, but I mean, I understand what you're saying as far as you feel like they do a lion's share of like the the sketch and the joke writing and yeah. you know, I mean, coming up with ideas to kind of get the ball rolling and shit like that. Possibly, yes. Possibly, maybe. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think that a lot of the influence comes from situations and shit in his life. And you know no, they yeah. find ways they to make it funny out it. of that. Yeah, they put you know they saying? put sauce on it, of course. And yeah. and but I feel like this stand up was like him trying to do it alone without the big production and without his team behind him. And it you can tell it was different. Like you're like, uh, yeah, your jokes is real dry about your family. They're like not even funny. Like, yeah, yeah. I feel that. I you're not hooking us in. You're not drawing us into a story. You're just talking. Yeah. Okay. It was different. It was different for sure. It was, it was different. different. Yeah, that's why. That's why I'm not like, one I'm, of his I'm, best no. performances. No, absolutely not. Absolutely. Um, not. Right. I don't absolutely think. not. I actually well. think it might have been one of his worst. Yeah. I was under. I was un, like when I found out that it was coming out and there was like no promo behind it. I was a little bit worried. I was like, he Why is mean. there no promo behind this? He Zero fucks given. Like, he damn near no. He, he probably have. titled it Zero, fuck, Zero Fucks Given because I don't give a shit about this. I'm trying to fulfill my Netflix contract or something. I, I did enjoy it, though. I enjoyed it. Even if it wasn't that funny, though, I enjoyed the storytelling. Mm. Okay. I enjoyed I, I enjoyed the special. I don't feel like I wasted my time. 